Good morning. Good morning. Okay, how's everyone doing? I think. Okay. Well, first of all, I would like to say thank you so much for being here. Um, this says a lot about you as young college bound seniors. Um, my name is uh, Mr. Camacho. I serve as an admissions advisor for Monroe College, representing all three college campuses. And although it's the first time you're seeing me, I, I'm not a new person coming to your school. I consider this my second home. I've been working now with uh, Montgomery High School for several years, um, having worked, of course, with Monroe College and Rochelle, but also SUNY Systems Administration. So I do have a long history with Mount Vernon High School. It is always a pleasure. And um, today I'm here just to talk a little bit about an opportunity program that we have for college-bound seniors. Now, when you think of the word jump start, what does that mean to you? Think of the word jump start. Yes. Like a head start. Okay. Um, education. Education. Okay. Okay. Anyone else would like to enlighten me? Yes. Jump start. Car. Jump start. Okay. 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 You could also include that as well. Yes. Doing something to get ahead. Correct. Yes. A helpful push. Correct. Yes. Anyone else? Now we're all seniors, right? Juniors and seniors, maybe. Okay, so it may, it looks like there's probably 40 students, more or less. There's 40, there should be 40 different answers because we are individuals and that's what makes us unique. Okay? Well, I'm here because we have um, a program called Jumpstart where you will actually get a feel of what it's like to pursue a college education on a college environment. We've done research and we found that there were a lot of young people, such as yourself, that of course, uh, went through the college process and then made poor choices and they made, they made a lot of mistakes but the, the mistakes were made because they did not take the initiative as high school students. Okay, And this is really important because after high school college begins and then the real world begins. And I'm hoping that of course Mount Vernon High School has taught you valuable tools that will be used when you go to college. So I commend you for coming out because you don't have to come today, but I commend you as college-bound seniors and rising seniors, if you're juniors, right, you'll be a senior soon, to just tap in and, and, and research and find out what it's like to go to college, um, you know, what is a college application, what is it like to study this field, whether it's engineering, accounting, management, marketing, if I would like to become a nurse or, 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 or a medical assistant, what is the education, is, what education is needed in order to pursue that field of study? So we've done research and we found out that there were a lot of young people going to college but didn't have the basic foundation. They didn't know anything about the college process. How many of you know students that go away, far away, and they stay at that college university for a semester to two and then they come back home? Do you ever ask yourself why? I'm going to tell you why. Because they don't do research. They don't do research. There's no change. They don't do research to find out about the majors. And I was a victim of that. When I was growing up, I was raised with a single parent on public assistance. I'm from Buffalo, New York. And I was raised in a community where Latinos and African Americans did not finish high school and did not go on to college. But of course, being first generation, my mother and my family, they kind of say, you're going to be the first Latino doctor. I don't care what you're going to do, but you're going to be the first Latino doctor. So I went to a college for two and a half years, which was very expensive. And after two and a half years, I woke up from the dorm asking myself, what am I doing? Why am I here? I then started to do some soul searching, but that was too late. I should have done that soul searching while I was in high school. While I was in high school, that's when you do it. So then the transition is smooth. Well, guess what? After two and a half years of, of nursing school, I then transferred and I went to another school. Now, I was at that, high, that, that college for two and a half years. I transferred in only with 19 credits. That's peanuts. Because as a full-time college student, 12 credits is full-time. You do that one semester, four months. I was there for two and a half years. I only transferred in 19. I lost a lot of credits. In addition, I lost a lot of financial aid. And of course, because I was a needy student, I had the Max Tech, Pell, and FSUG, and all that was applied towards my education. That's beautiful. Now, we are blessed because we live in a generous state and a generous country. You look into other places, they don't have this money. Now, for me, because I received the max, which was great, 
the sad thing is I made poor choices and I made mistakes and I went to a school that took all of my financial aid knowing I was not even nursing material. Now had I did some soul searching and had a discussion like this back in high school, it would have been clear that I would have not done well academically on a college level for nursing because I was not even math and science oriented. I just graduated with a 77 cumulative average on a high school level and that is not good enough. 77 is not good enough when I could have had a, a 97. But when you live in a disadvantaged community where you don't have the foundation and you don't have people saying that you are going to be somebody, you, you're going to be someone, you either deteriorate and just break down. And that's what happens with a lot of our young people because they don't have the infrastructure. There's no foundation. No one is saying you're going to be somebody. Smile. You're going to be a doctor. You're going to be a lawyer. You're going to be a judge. You are going to be the first female president of the United States. You have to believe in yourself, and it starts right now. You see, in life, what you believe in, you could all achieve in. What you believe in, you could all achieve in, and do not let anyone tell you otherwise. We are living in the land of opportunity. If you do not become successful, it's not because your mother is the fault. It's not because it's your girlfriend, your friends, your next door neighbor. It's your fault. Because everyone is afforded equal opportunity. If you plant the seed in your head that I am going to be someone, I am going to be the doctor, you're going to be that doctor. And the minute you lose focus, that's what happens. You lose that dream, you lose the fire. Okay, so when you deal with a lot of young people out there, they go far away, they want to do this and that, but they don't do the basic research that is needed in order to um, smoothly transition into that profession. And that's why you get a lot of young people that graduate from high school, go to large college universities, take up these majors that has nothing to do with their interests. So you have to do some soul searching, and your senior year is important. You're not here to look cool. You're not here to daydream. You're not here to get the latest kicks and the newest jacket and the newest jeans and get the newest hairstyle. You're here to get an education because that comes first. Everything else is secondary. And if you apply all that wonderful um, ammunition, the world is yours. Okay? So I'm here today to talk about ammunition. I'm here today to talk about Jumpstart. And at Monroe College, we have an but we have a wonderful program that will allow young people like yourself an opportunity to come to the college campus, study in a college setting where you are being engaged by a college professor, and after 13, 14 weeks, if you do exceptionally well, you will have an opportunity to gain three college credits for free. For free. And I think this is an amazing opportunity because had someone walked into my high school and said, Anthony, you are going to be someone, and I believe in you, and because I believe in you, I'm going to give you an opportunity to take a Jumpstart class. And had I taken a Jumpstart class, I would have never committed myself to a nursing school because at 38 years young, you like that, right? I'm 38 years young. <laughs> at 38 years young, I'm still paying back nursing school. And this is a time in my life where I'm married, where we're planning to have children, you know, you get a house, all that good stuff that comes in life, right? Now I have to worry about mistakes I made when I was 17, 18. So that is why it is imperative that as young people, you take the initiative and do everything you have to do and prioritize yourself, your lives. Okay? So I am excited. And I thank you, Dr. Chase, to give us this opportunity to help our young people. And I'm giving back because it was given to me. Okay? You have to pass the baton. It's not about gimme, gimme, gimme. In life, you have to give. You have to give. And that's when you grow and develop. So today, I'm giving you an opportunity to take part in a wonderful program called Jumpstart. It's not for every student. If you're not serious, if you are not college-bound, if you cannot commit then you should not be able, you should not be doing this. But if you are serious and you want to make a change and make a difference and do something that's going to help with your professional development and growth, then I encourage you to take advantage of this opportunity. Now, it's a process. Um, we are going to ask, first of all, it's for seniors. Okay? And if you are a junior and if you are interested, then when we start our next session, okay, I would have you participate. 
Okay? What we need right now, of course, would to have you participate in, in the, 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 the Jumpstart application. And also, uh, I have a profile sheet. I'm going to ask each and every one of you, especially the seniors, really, to fill this out. I'm going to have my colleague distribute the paperwork. Please fill out both forms because I'm going to use that as a way to reach out and say, please come back on campus because on September 24th, we're going to have our orientation for Jumpstart. Okay? A nice orientation. And then on October 14th, you will then return for your actual Jumpstart class. Now, there's a catch. It's on Saturdays, and it's for three hours. And that's where the commitment comes in. Okay? If you are serious, you start the process, the paperwork, you come in for our orientation, and then you come for the first day of class. It's on Saturdays, it's three hours. Okay? Now, if you have other responsibilities, other obligations, then you have to decide what's important. And this is what life is all about. You want to be an adult, right? We always want to be adults, right? This is the time now to make those adult decisions. Uh, first, you know, I know you guys are filling out your, your applications, but can we just give Mr. Camacho a round of applause for that fantastic <laughs> And this message was so powerful. I'm really happy to see that we have uh, two parents in the room to actually hear the message. You know, we're college bound. It's not an option, ladies and gentlemen. It is not an option. It wasn't an option for me. It's not an option for you. It wasn't an option for your principals, your assistant principals in this building. You have to take advantage. In order for you all to compete in this global society, in the 21st century, it is a requirement. And so I encourage you to take advantage of this program, take advantage of this opportunity to advance your education, and actually to get the experience of being in college. There are not a lot of school districts in this neighboring area that have the same opportunity that you have here today before you. And what's also fantastic is that it's free of charge. You're saving your parents, your guardians, or whoever is going to sponsor your college education a lot of money. The average credit today is about, what, $1,600 per credit? Some of you may have the opportunity to earn up to six before you leave Mount Vernon High School. If you do the math and ask yourself, really, how much money your parents, your guardians, or whomever's going to sponsor you, your college career, is going to save in participating in this program. You know, I had an opportunity to talk to some of the students at Thornton High School prior to coming here, and we were talking about some of the majors and the courses that are offered in the back. And if you flip over to the back of your brochure, and I know Mr. Camacho shared with you, look at all the wonderful offerings there are, um, from education to business to um, criminal justice to speech to applied health services. And I am sure that there is something for every single person sitting in this room something of interest. And if your major may not be listed on the back of that, those courses that are listed can also be applied to um, any sort of elective courses that you have to take because when you're in college you're required to take elective courses. Okay, So please take a look at this, take advantage of this. This is a wonderful opportunity. It is not an option to go to college. I wish you all the very best because I don't want to take too much of your time.